one of the World Wrestling Federation's biggest, um, I, I think literally, he's one of the biggest managers they have in there. He's handled Andre the Giant. He has worked with uh, the Wild Samoans. Please welcome a very close friend of Bruce Springsteen and Cindy Lauper's Captain Lou Albano. Oh, they're chanting. They're chanting, Lou, Lou, Lou. Oh, you made a little mistake. I'm not uh -oh. with the WWF anymore. I've retired from wrestling, and I'm basically freelancing on my own, and let's go from there. All right, you don't need those guys. Uh, nice people out here. I see you got a great band. You got a great staff here. You want to? Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you something. All right, I'll tell you. can tell me something if you button First your shirt First of all, up. if I button my shirt, I shirt <laughs> oh, no, no. First of all, when I knew I was coming on your show, I was so elated to find out I was going to be on this show, and particularly because of you. I've been watching you for some time. I'm a fan of yours, and uh, especially in the New York area, everyone I talk to says that this is one of the finest talk shows in the history of the business. Oh, all right. Uh, wow. I'm not going to get here to blow smoke or anything else, but I'm going to tell you, your, your speaking voice, your, 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 the way you present the show, the way you treat guests, it's an honor for me, and anytime you want me back, big old fat Captain Lou will be glad to be here. I'd like to tell you. First of all, do we, do we have Lewis. a do we have a new car we could give him? <laughs> we have a, something. First of all, you know Captain Lou dropped out of uh, wrestling. I've got a wrestling hotline. It's a one nine hundred six six. I'm sorry, that was the old number. Okay. One nine hundred nine zero nine for Lou. Every time you call that number, Bruno San Martino and myself give results, and they make a donation to that dreaded disease that I'm a chairman of, multiple sclerosis. Oh, good, good. One nine hundred. 909 uh, We're doing that. We've also, uh, we did a movie called Wise Guys with Danny DeVito and Joe Piscopo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I played I also Frank, remember, Frankie the I Fixer. I remember Goonies. You were in Goonies with Cindy Lauper. Okay, we did the Goonies. We've got a picture coming out called Body Slam that'll be with the Nelson Entertainment, Nelson Video Entertainment, and uh, Complex World. It'll be out later. My friend George Gallo wrote Wise Guys. There's a possibility of doing a Wise Guys 2. Uh, Gallo has done a picture with Robert De Niro, a $33 million production will be coming out soon. God, I'm sorry, nothing's going on in your life, Lou. Well, I mean, it's, uh, and on top of this... <laughs> and on, there's more? On top of this, Ross, I've got to get everything in. <laughs> on top of this, we've got a, uh, Jackie Gleason, when he knew he was passing away, uh, wanted his legacy to live on, so he gave Ron Merriams, uh, the permission to have a Honeymooners comic book. And Captain Lou played Ralph... Uh, for the Ralph Club in the Felt Forum before 5,000 people in New York, and he allowed me to be put into his comic book, and they're coming off with their, our own book. It's a triad production, or I should say publication, yeah. with here, Captain here, Lou and Bruno picture. San Martino. That's the yeah. that book. Well, Lou, uh, Lou, I can't, I can't tell you what a pleasure it's been to have you on the show. Uh, we... Uh, too bad we're out of time. But wait, 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 just give me a little more. Room. No, 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 I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. All right. Well, yeah. first of all, we also, I want to give all my stuff across. You understand that, Ross? Wait, did, is it, wait, 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 let's stop, just one second. Go right ahead. Do you really know Bruce Springsteen? Yes, I knew Bruce uh, when he was a young fellow down in Asbury Park. Uh, he was a wrestling fan. And uh, Bruce, I told Cindy Lauper, I said, I know Bruce. I said, years uh -huh. ago, he carried my bag. And she said, come on, we were at the Hit Factory in New York. Well, she said, let's go downstairs. Bruce is down recording. We walked downstairs, and he said, hey, fat man, how you doing? How you been? Now, this was years when he was a kid, 15, 16 years old. Grab the bag and come on in. Follow me in. Uh, he said, how many tickets do you need for the Meadowlands, the giant stadium, okay? Scalpers were getting $1,500 a ticket. I was kind of tempted. To, but I, promised, <laughs> I promised my kids, so he gave me five tickets. Jack Nicholson was sitting beside my kids. Uh, the kids went back, said hello to Bruce. So the guy's a great, great guy, a great humanitarian, donates to charities. He's a wonderful guy, uh -huh. okay? And I also... Uh, Now, my good friend uh, Danny DeVito was instrumental in me reading for Brian De Palma and Wise Guys, along with Joe Piscopo. Danny's been a personal friend of mine. Uh, I saw that movie. You, were, you played a gangster in it. Yeah, Fat Frankie Acovano. Oh, yeah. Beard shaved and the hair trimmed yeah. back. Uh, by the way, we've got a book coming out in January. Called, <laughs> that I doesn't surprise me, Lou. So I call The Body Smasher. It's done by it's uh, Walter Zacharias from Zebra Books. Now, this is a CIA agent you, and a you professional just go ahead. I'd like to read the comic book. Go right ahead. Read the comic book. <laughs> 
CIA agent and professional wrestler. There'll be a series of four books. First one coming out in January of 89. So we're also publicizing that. Go ahead, Ross. Ask me some questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'd like to make uh, no. one other statement. Right? No, no, no more statements. One no more. more statements. No more plugs. First of all, we're, okay. uh, I'm a chairman of multiple sclerosis. You people know what MS is. It's young adults between the ages of 20 and 40. They tell you that there's two, three million people with MS. Well, that's a fallacy. It's more like five to six million people that have MS. Uh, along with Cindy Lauper, my good friend, and David Wolf, and you have Steve Garvey, Jimmy Connors, and Julie Andrews. We're out raising money for this dreaded disease. Now, they're finding out in the latest research, uh, if they can cure MS, it's a breakthrough for AIDS and cancer. But don't panic. It doesn't mean if you have cancer, if you have rather MS, you've got cancer or you've got AIDS. But they all come off the autoimmune system. Multiple sclerosis, scar tissue forms around a spinal column. If you've got AIDS, you don't die from the AIDS, you die from hepatitis or pneumonia, anything from that. There's no autoimmune system. And if you've got cancer, the cells destroy one another. So by curing MS, perhaps we have a breakthrough for cancer and AIDS. So we're out this year looking to raise $70 million for this dreaded disease, and I'm the national chairman of MS. All right, Lou. Thank you very much. Before you go, are we, we have to go away? All right, wait. All right, before... Before we go, I want to say two things. First of all, I'm glad that you got rid of that thing that you used to stick on the side of your face. Yeah, well, that was... Uh, yeah, know, that was just a thing. And can, and can I do one thing? Now, I noticed that, I noticed you, you uh, have rubber bands here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I all, I, when I see you, there's only one thing I, I've always wanted to do. What's and, that? Uh, see this thing? I would always wanted to do this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wide shot. Can we get out there? Oh, <laughs> shit. No. <laughs> Let me try it. There hey, we go. Hey. Well, once again, I want to thank you, Captain Lou Albano. It is a pleasure to be here. Next time, right. come back when you've got something to say next time. Well, I want to thank you for having me on, and anytime you, you want call. me back, we'll be, be right back. All right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Coming up later, she's...